Okay. <clears throat> As usual, the human race thinks the whole world revolves around them. All the research going into marijuana is to testing it, what use it has for people. Nobody's testing it for use on other things. Now, one of the reasons this hasn't been thought of is because you, uh, most people th know marijuana to be a wind-pollinated plant, kind of like corn. But for some reason, mar uh, the honeybee loves some marijuana flower. Why? Why would a wind-pollinated plant attract bees? Now, in nature, many animals pick their own medicine. You know, if your dog's constipated, they go out and eat grass. If they got an upset stomach, they eat grass. You know, that's uh, just Mother Nature's way of clearing themselves out. So, I'm not going to mention where, but I know a honeybee farmer here in Tennessee that either he was or had a neighbor growing marijuana several years ago. And he mentioned that the honeybees just love the marijuana plant. Now, he also mentioned that he doesn't have any problem with the uh, colony collapse disorder. So, I'm hoping somebody in Colorado, Washington, or Oregon, you know, someplace where you can grow your own plants, maybe California, will also be a honeybee farmer and then they can say well I don't have any problem with my bees or even better yet a person that raises honey that is having some problems could plant some marijuana plants both male and female plants you know let nature take its course let nature handle it all and see if that has any effect on the honeybees now don't spray your marijuana with uh, insecticide and that's the problem they're having in Colorado right now is because the weed growers are spraying their plants with insecticide to keep the uh, I guess spider mites or whatever off uh, you're better off turning loose a big bunch of ladybugs they'll take care of the spider mites mother nature always has a solution to all your problems but I'm not going there um, my big thing is the honeybee. There has to be a reason that honeybee is so attracted to the female marijuana plant. And uh, I was wondering if they were just choosing their own medicine. So this would be a good uh, research thing for somebody up in one of those areas that allows the growth of their own cannabis. Uh, it would be ideal if you could grow, you know, have honeybee hives in different areas and maybe grow the uh, CBD style cannabis by one set of hives and grow the high THC cannabis by another set of hives and uh, see if, you know, there's differences. Uh, I know this would take a, a year to get the research in because it would have to be done outdoors uh, and, you know, probably if anybody's growing the medical marijuana near you, you're probably going to make them mad because the, the bees would come in and pollinate <laughs> your marijuana crop and the medical people don't really want pollinated uh, marijuana. So, uh, like I said, I'm throwing this out there. Hopefully somebody will catch the idea. Here in Tennessee, we're not allowed to do anything like that. Uh, I would also throw out there some of y'all in the uh, marijuana states to get some of the concentrate. Uh, if anybody has a, a dog with a tumor, uh, see if you could liquefy the uh, the uh, the marijuana and oil or whatever and maybe just get an insulin needle and uh, try to drop it on the uh, on the tumors and see what effect it has. I mean if don't do it unless you know that how to do an allergen test which is basically you scrape the skin and drop some oil on it and see if there's an allergic reaction. You know, first, that's the first thing you would do to an animal. 
And then, you know, if that's okay, then you could use it like as a topical. And if, if the topical doesn't cause any reaction, uh, you could uh, then from there go into uh, more veterinary. This would be an ideal uh, project for a veterinarian in the states that have the legalized cannabis to see what, see, it, it's got to be a use. You know, God put the plant here for our use. We just got our job to figure out what it's best used for. You know, we know it has medicinal effects for people, but what about the animals? Can it help uh, the smaller creatures on the planet?